Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome in the kitchen with Tally Faye. Hope everybody's had them a good day today. It sure was beautiful here. We got some rain. It was beautiful. I can't quit talking about it. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Bring us some more. Oh, goodness, y'all. It was just wonderful. And all the little birds are all happy. And the old cows walking around out there. They just walking around in the yard. And they was just pelting off of their backs. And they just, I mean, you could just see it on them. You know, they were just like bathing in it, you know. It was wonderful. I'll hush about it, but I sure am thankful. And it made for a good day. Uh, I'm in here finishing up this supper. And uh, the last thing I'm going to make is this uh, green chili corn muffins, okay? And everybody's seen this recipe, but I was going to show y'all just how quick and easy it was because I, I just got through doing the King Ranch chicken video. Uh, so that was two, that's going to be two easy videos for tonight, but two delicious videos and great for company. So y'all get your pencils if you want to know how to do this, if you don't know already, and I'll show you how to whoop these things out and they are delicious everybody likes them so here we go y'all i got my oven preheated on 400 degrees okay got it preheated on 400 first things first i got me two boxes a jiffy corn muffin mix okay two boxes take that and start around there a little bit get some of them clumps out of it good old jiffy been around a long time. And you can do a lot of things with Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. I keep it in there for stuff just, just like this. All right. So now we've got two key, uh, two boxes of that. Now the next thing we're going to add in here, y'all, is two of these cans of the chopped green chilies. They're not drained or nothing. I'm just going to put them in there. And these are the mild. You can use what you want, I reckon. Okay. Two cans, two and two. Two boxes of Jiffy, two cans of chopped green chilies. Now I have in here, two eggs are in here, right? I've got two eggs and I've got two thirds of a cup of milk. And so I'm gonna go ahead and beat my eggs in my milk while I'm doing that, right? And then go ahead and get them beat up. You don't have to, you can drop it all in there, but I just like to do this and that way I don't have to worry about my shells um, getting in my bowl, right? But anyway, two-thirds cup of milk and two eggs beat up together in there. We got that now. All right, the next thing, I have one regular size can of the whole kernel corn, okay? Well, I've drained it. I drained it good. And I'm not going to put that whole thing in there, y'all. Probably about three-quarters of that can. Uh-oh. About three-quarters of it. Let me... Uh, uh, this isn't a science on this. You know, if you want to put the whole thing in there, you can, I guess. But anyway, I'll do something else with that other thing of corn. And now I have a medium-sized onion here. I'm going to cut him up real quick. Just chop it up. You don't have to put onion in there if you don't want to, right? But you know me and Bugs, we're going to have us some onion. And yeah, I think it's delicious in these. You know, you may not want to put a whole one in there. You can put a half of one in there. That's up to you, right? You got to do what you like on some of that stuff. And I'll see what that looks like. I told Buzz I wanted a medium onion, and he brought me one the size of a softball. So, you know, I'm probably not going to put this whole thing in there. I'll leave about that much of it out. But I'll go ahead and chop this one here. Get it chopped up and put in there. You don't saute this one or nothing. You just put it in there raw, okay? And there's our onion. All right, now, last thing I'm going to put in here, y'all, is I have an 8-ounce block of cream cheese. I've got it cubed up, right? I'm going to use my little handy-dandy. Y'all seen me use it before, my little uh, grater here. My little bitty one. But it works so good. I love it. And it saves me a lot of messing around with the grater, right? The hand grater. This little booger is just worthy. I take this one when I go camping, y'all. So quick and easy, right? 
but that's an eight ounce block I've got cubed up of sharp cheddar, okay? I've got the sharp cheddar. All right, just a couple more and I'm done with that. See there? How awesome is that? Girlfriend got me just for a present. I sure do love her for it. There we go. We've got our grated cheddar. Okay, we put it back down here where you can see. And y'all, that is what goes in these green chili corn muffins. Okay? When you get them stirred up here, I have one of my muffins. I'm going to do do it in this size muffin. You can do the big old, the big muffins if you want to, but I, I'm going to do these. I don't want to do the big, big ones. Just so I can, uh, the, I think they bake a little better when you do the smaller ones. Because this stuff is so heavy. You know, with all the cheese and the peppers and everything in there, it's a heavy dough. So, but man, are these things good. I got us a big old pot of spicy pinto beans cooked over there. And you get this, these uh, green chili cornbread muffins and plop them in a bowl and ladle some of that beans over it. And you are good to go. I can make a meal on that just by itself. I'm going to get me a spoon and finish this off so I don't have to do this, y'all. Get my wooden spoon over here. Look at that. Can y'all see it? Get it up close. See how? See, and it's thick and full of all of that peppers and onions and cheese in there. It is delicious. Okay. I've got my little 24 count muffin tin sprayed here. I did spray it good. Make sure it's mixed up well so that your eggs and your milk are, you know, throughout it, distributed well on there. Okay. Now, I'm just going to take, I'm going to try my little ice cream scoop, see if it'll work for me. Just to keep me, y'all know what a mess I can make, right? Oh, looky there. That's going to work perfect. See how many it's going to make with this double thing here. I got me another little six count pan over there if I have to use it. And I'm definitely going to have to, I think. So see, look how many this recipe will make. So again, that's great for company. there. Look, there's just that much left in there, y'all. i tell you what, I'm going to, I'm going to just try to go along here and anywhere I can squeeze it in there. It's probably, they're probably going to puff up over it, but that ain't no thing to me, is it? Woo, that one's going to go. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. It's got to be the Talifay way, right? Okay. I don't really know the time on these. Let me see the regular cornbread recipe on this thing. It says you bake them for 15 to 20 minutes, right? But that's not when they're full of all these peppers and cheese and all that going on, right? So it's probably going to be a good 20 minutes. I'll let you know if I remember to tell you. You know, sometimes I forget to tell you, but I'm definitely going to show them to you. So anyway, 400 degrees going in, y'all. Just bake them till they're done. All right, golden brown. I'll see you in a little bit. It's the green chili corn muffin, y'all. Okay, y'all, I got them out. It was in my oven. Uh, it was, let's see, 25, 35 minutes is how long I did them in my oven. 
And they're still hot, y'all, so uh, what do I do with my... Oh, here we go. I'll show them to you up close. I can't get them out real easy just yet. I gotta let them cool off. But look, there's what they look like, y'all. Look at that. I'm telling you, these little boogers are some kind of good. It's got that corn in there and cheese. And let me see if I can slice one. They're hot and it's kind of making them crumple open, but they'll do good once I let them cool off. Woo! Look at that booger, y'all. Look at all that goodness in there. I'm telling you, these things, I, I can just eat them by themselves. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm. mm, mm. mm. Y'all, you gotta try these. If you haven't, you need to learn how to make them. It was very easy, right? And it doesn't cost nothing. Like I say, that made, you know, I made this pan right here. Got you a dozen good, good muffins in there. Like I say, you can use the bigger pan if you want to, uh, the bigger muffin cups, but you'd have to bake them longer and probably a little bit, uh, like on say 375 or something like that. But I like doing them like this because you get it gives you a little more crust and stuff to it to be able to eat on that. And it's good stuff, y'all. Y'all try this out, let me know. And I love you guys, and I'll see you next time in the kitchen with Tally Faye.